Hi there and welcome back to my computer. I got a private message about these solids I've been doing. I have a playlist with the platonic solids and I was in work on Archimedean solids. A couple more is coming up here forward and the question was quite easy. Can I somehow use the edges to do something like a wireframe like these two I've done here. This is the octahedron closest to us. This is the snub cube. As you can see it's a yeah, it's cube with extended face and it is slightly rotated. If you want to do how to do the solids below this, links down in the description and the platelets uh, they are in. But I will now show you how to do this bit, but not on these two. I'm going to start with the tetrahedron, the most basic one, the first of the platonic solids. I will not explain how we're doing this. If there's a link to the video you want to do the solid, I will just use it as it is. So I want to do a frame. I'm lazy, so I'm going to use pipe command. I'm going to choose, I'm holding down control to choose the edges, and I'm going to choose not cut. I want a new body. 8 millimeters looks good for me this time, so let's do that. Okay. I'm going to turn off this first solid. Yeah, the one I did earlier, or have done earlier. And now uh, these pointy edges, I don't like them, so I want to remove them. I'm going to use fillet and choose all these three external edges and the size I'm choosing is half of the, di or the radius of the, the pipe I've done the, the diameter of a pipe is 8, the radius is 4 and by doing that we get a bit of a nicer soft edge now we need to get all the other sides so we are going to do a circular pattern choose bodies this body and the axle. I'm going to find one in the middle here and, and three times and then a simple combine and by doing that we have made a tetrahedron into a wireframe. You can change material, free to paint, whatever you want to it. Uh, let us show it also with a truncated cube octahedron video above or in the description so you can find how you do this one. Starting the same way um, maybe explain a bit more when I do the pipes I try to make them in complete loops so the first one here I'm gonna choose this complete loop the whole way around make sure it makes a new body and eight looks a bit big let's do it like six millimeters five better like uh, I'm gonna do another pipe repeat pipe I'm gonna take uh, let's take this square here. Where are you? I'm gonna find edges. Holding down control at, on Windows machines. Make sure to choose new body. And OK. And then the last face. This body has three, three different faces. So I'm gonna do on the third face. I'm gonna do pipe. Make sure circular, yes. And then yeah, let's hide those other two bodies. Makes it a bit easier to see things like that. We're going to choose new body once again. Let's turn all of the bodies on again, and we'll go. And by that, we have made all the bodies we need. Uh, and once, but once again, you see, you can slightly see things poking out here through things. We're going to turn off the first body. We don't need it right now, and we're going to turn off these two and go in and do some fillets again. This is a bit dependent on which solid you're working with, how much you want to do this. I like to do it. It gets a bit of a smoother uh, way of looking. And this one was fast, so it's maybe 2.5. And let's also choose the other bodies. So I'm going to call down control, choose the edges like that, turn off the body, turn on that body, the last one, all the outside corners, like that, and we are done, and let's turn them all on. Now we have the three, and now we're going to make sure they fill around the complete solid, so we shall do circular patterns again. Make sure it's bodies, choose all the three bodies, axle, the one going through 
guitar here is the first one we're going to start with and we need that four times so we get all four sides as you can see we did one here two three four that's correct and we do one more circular pattern we're going to choose all the bodies and the X is going to be the one down here yeah, we can do any one of these and two is not enough so we need four to get all the size done and let fusion do some thinking and now we get the hold and now we get a lot of bodies so let's choose all of them and do a combine so now we have one solid the wireframe solid of this as you can see if I do the fillers we get these nice soft corners so we can also turn off visible edges to take a look how it looks like so that was just a short video of how you can turn a solid into a wire wireframe. So that's the solid, the same with the hidden, and yes, of course, then you can change materials and do others. So take a look at our videos, how you do the solids, and play around with this. There's most probably a smarter way to do it, but this is the way I do it. Take care.